My name is Holly Copeland. I am a certified biofield tuning practitioner, and I'm excited today to share with you my 10 point sonic slider routine using the sonic slider tuning fork. This is an 89 Hertz fork that you can get from the biofield tuning store. This routine that I'm going to share with you is something I do personally myself every day and have found it to be a wonderful support of overall health and well being to kind of tune up my vibrational body. So I'm really excited to share it with you too. All right, so we begin by striking the fork and uh, activating the feet, and then we're gonna work up the body. And I strike it on the heel of my hand here. You can also do the edge of your knee. So it's kind of a bony, uh, somewhat hard, but soft place. And so these are my two favorite places. So I strike the fork and then I place it on my kidney one point, which is here, um, just below between the big big toe and the second to big toe, uh, just down from there at the bottom of the ball of the foot. And I will also pause here to tell you that I have a contour boot on mine. This is an accessory from the Biofield Tuning Store that spreads out the vibration, but you don't need it. And you can also do this routine without having the contour boot on your fork. So either works just fine. I used it without the contour fork for a long time. Okay, so we're gonna strike there. I'm gonna place it on the K1 point on my left foot. I'm gonna breathe in and just let the fork run out. And I'm gonna place it on the sole of my foot. This point uh, really grounds us. Connecting you in to earth energy. And this drains excess energy from the body. So I can actually feel it while I'm doing this draining from my shoulders. Now I'm gonna come over to the kidney one, the K1 point on my right foot, activate it. In acupuncture, this kidney one point is one of the most important points for opening up channels through the whole body. So that's why we start here to really open up the energetic system in the body. And then I'm gonna come over to the sole of my foot. Again, just letting the fork run down. Now I'm coming over to the right knee, on the outside of the knee. You don't need to pick a specific point here, just wherever feels good to you. And as we do this routine, continue to breathe and use it as an opportunity to tune into your own body and what's going on for you. So now coming over to my left knee, So I'm just closing my eyes and I'm tuning in to where I notice energy moving in the body. Okay, coming over to the right hip.
right hip can be a place where we overexert or overdo when we're out of balance. So this balances out that tendency. Okay, coming to the left hip. into the sacral chakra now. This is just in the pelvic region. The sacral chakra is our chakra around the energy of nourishment and pleasure, reclaiming our right to receive this kind of nourishment, sexual energy. Coming up to the liver, the liver is like the general, I've heard it described as the general of the body and the systems, and it balances overall well-being. So it's a little bit to the right, and down below the rib cage. And any of these points, you can do them multiple times if you feel like that's what's required. Okay, coming over to the solar plexus. Our radiant life force comes through the solar plexus. Okay, now into the heart center, giving and receiving love. Coming to the high heart which is where the, where the thymus gland is located and it regulates the immune system. Again, take the time to feel in to where you feel energy moving in your body. This is such a great way to just get to know your own body and your own energetic system. I have found that by doing this every day, I start to learn the energy of my own body in a way I never knew before I started doing this work. Okay, um, and now we're going to come up to the face. And here, I'm going to invite you to move the tuning fork around your face. So I like to start at the third eye here and then I come down and just sweep down to the right and the outside using my intuition, using what feels good. If you don't have a, a boot, you can do this same thing, treat it like a pencil and just use the side of the fork here along the face along the jaw. Okay, you see that? So you can absolutely do this without the boot to slide around the face. I like to go under the eyes. It feels so good. Under the cheekbones, into the jaw, and the jaw is a place where we hold a lot of tension. So it's a really good place to do a lot of, spend extra time, do a lot of work on the jaw. Don't forget to breathe.
frown on the face. I find this one of the most sort of enjoyable parts of this routine to just give my face some love and attention. Okay, then we're gonna move to the neck and this is so good for clearing the lymphatic system and lymphatic glands. So starting behind the ear and then pushing down along the neck, along those glands in the neck. And I tend to do that and then I work my way forward like this. And if you want, you can also do these points on either um, side of the shoulder are also very good points for the lymph system. So while you're doing this, you can stop, you can end there on those shoulder points. Come back by the ear and then slowly work down. And again, if you don't have the food, you can totally do this. Just slowly work down on the side of the fork like this. It absolutely works as well. Okay. Then again, Placing the fork there at the end. And the soft space under the collarbone. Okay. And next, we're going to activate the crown. So I come up the top of the head and um, I like to hold the fork here and just activate the space above the crown first. And you can actually feel it above the body and then you can place it on the crown itself. Okay, and in one final, that's the 10 point routine, but I actually love, I'm gonna show you the way that I love to end, which is I, um, open up the heart by doing a tuning away from the body. So we're going to turn to the side here and just opening up and holding the fork about 10 inches from the 10 to 12 inches from the body. But really what you want to do is where it stops naturally. So you can start to tune in to where you feel the fork resist and hold it in that space. And this will start to tune up and open up the space in front of your heart. Jonathan Goldman, one of the, my teachers calls this the space of faith. This spot about 10 inches from us is, is the where we hold faith and trust in the universe. So it's so important that this space be open so we can really trust in life, trust in the goodness that's here, trust in the support of the universe. And if you want, you can carry it forward. To me, I feel and envision my whole heart chakra open. So this energy wheel being fully open. And the more you do this, the more you, you listen to the energy on and off the body, the more, again, you will start to tune into how your own energy system works. So if you need to stay here a little longer, do that, trust that. Start to learn your own system. All right, there you go. There's my 10 point sonic slider routine. I encourage you to do this every day or twice a day, morning and night for overall energetic balancing health and well-being. All right. Love and blessings to all. Take care.